Hello, happy family. It is always my pleasure to have you back. Today we are going to declare God's protection and provision into our lives. Just as Psalms 23 has made it known to us. Psalms 23 might seem simple, but I tell you what, it's a very powerful Psalms to read every day and declare every word written in it into your life and that of your loved ones. Wait a minute. I think it's about time for you to subscribe to this channel if you've not done so. And don't also forget to click on that notification bell. It's very important. It will keep you connected anytime good news is brought to you through this channel. Thank you and God bless you. Now let's continue with Psalms 23. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Brethren, as we all know, that every good shepherd guards his flock so passionately and protect them from every enemy that will want to attack his flock anytime, anywhere. He guides his flock into protective and perfect way so his flock will not fall into pit or trap and leads them to where there is abundance for his flock to feed on. God, your shepherd, your Jehovah Jireh, he is more powerful and knows it all. He will guide you and your loved ones with so much love and comfort. He will protect you and your loved ones from every form of affliction of the enemy over your lives. He will protect you from all attacks of the enemy. He will watch over you and your loved ones as you go out and as you come in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because the Lord is your shepherd, everything the canker worms and the caterpillars had eaten that was yours must be restored back to you right now because you are not permitted to be in want according to psalms 23 verse 1 in the mighty name of jesus christ amen every closed door against you must be opened every closed door against your business must be opened and every closed door against your career must be opened in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and every closed door against your children's academy must be opened i pray for you right now every closed door in your spiritual life must be opened you will not lack anything good that you desire to make your life sweet here on earth according to psalms 23 verse 1 in the mighty name of jesus christ amen psalms 23 verse 2 says he made me to lie down in green pastures he leaded me beside the still waters verse 3 says he restored my soul he leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake now let me pray for you according to Psalms 23 verses 2 and 3. The Lord will go ahead of you and make every crooked way straight in your life and that of your loved ones. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord with his divine guardians will order your steps to walk on his chosen paths where you will find favor, blessings and love from your destiny helpers on earth. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Verse 4 of Psalms 23 says, Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. According to verse 4 of Psalm 23, I pray for you that your confidence will be in God who is your shepherd. And I say, fear not of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. For God hath not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let's dwell on verse 5. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Verse 6 and the last verse says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and i say a big amen to that I pray right now that god almighty keep your enemies alive so that your enemies will also see the blessings of god in your life and that of your loved ones in the mighty name of jesus christ amen i thank god for his goodness and his mercy that will always await you every single day of your life as you wake the next day 
now and always. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed a big amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord has answered every prayer we have prayed today. All you need to do is to have faith in the prayers and see God's power manifest in your lives. For without faith, we cannot receive anything from God. Who the Son of God make free is free indeed. And I say a big amen. Don't forget to share your testimonies because a testimony shared is one life encouraged. God bless you. Also, do not hesitate to bring your prayer requests so we can pray with you. Don't enjoy God's goodness alone. Like and share this video. Let it go viral. Remember to subscribe and stay connected. I love you. May God loves you more. Bye for now.